Hey friends out there in YouTube land, Rob here. I wanna help you stream right now. Are you having a problem with logging in with the one button click login on Yolo Box or something like that? Well, that's actually what we're talking about today, but I gotta, I gotta get something off my chest. People are screaming over on the community forums, upset at Yolo Live, Frank, Jenny, uh, all the Esther, all those guys over there because Yolo Box won't go live with one button streaming, you know, connect your Facebook account and go live. And yes, that is absolutely something that's advertised as a feature, just like it is on your cell phone or whatever else. But do you know how that works? I'm going to tell you how to make it work, but if you want to get there, you're going to sit through this. It's because you don't know what you're doing. I've been talking about this on the forums for a while, and I let Frank know too. The users that use this aren't users. They're noobs. They don't know what they're doing. And so although you need to make it easy, you guys don't have the knowledge of actually streaming for money, of actually being paid to do something, which is why you're screaming about this. Because anyone that has ever actually streamed live in the real world for money as a job would have already realized, yeah, I'll just set up an RTMPS server at the minimum. I mean, that's exactly what we've been doing for years, decades even. But you don't know that because all you're used to is your cell phone go live. My God. Now that we've got that, kick yourself in the butt. Dust yourself off, say, I'm ready to learn something, and here's how to do it easily. This will work anytime and should be your go-to know-how-to-do in case you need to stream live, and one button click on any device doesn't work. Here's what you do. We've got Yolo Live right here. I want you to kind of move this so we can zoom in some. Okay, so we've got just Yolo Box right here. I've got Yolo Box set up. I've got my computer screen right here. Get logged in because I'll need that in a second. And it, we're gonna go into live streaming. So as you can see, I push live streaming and I've got a stream set up right now and we click to go into it. As we get into it, you'll see a couple of my other streams and I've set up my audio to work appropriately for the stream. I'm recording in camera right now and I'll delete the information I wanna delete and blur out because I don't want you to see my stream keys and stuff like that. And you would do the same, you would want to hide that information too. Anyways, as we look right here, uh, we want to stream, and I don't want to stream to my Facebook or my YouTube, my regular channel. I don't want to go to my Twitch, and I don't want to go to my live stream weddings. I want to create a new stream because for whatever reason, I've entered, and these won't work. So this is your immediate action to a no stream. Like, think about if you were ever, you weren't a soldier because you're not good at following directions or in the military at all. You're just not good at following directions, which is why you're having a problem with this because you haven't thought about what you're doing. You're just so used, you don't really know, which is why you're here. So here's what you do. This is your standard operating procedure. When you've linked an account and it won't go live and you're on a timeline, a schedule, you must be and you go live. Now you immediately do your immediate action, which is click the plus button down at the bottom, come over here and choose RTMPS. I'm not talking about any of these, but it will work the same with those. Click RTMPS on Yolo Box. It will pop up a window. I also know you're here because also you're not a soldier. You needed to have your sergeant read this to you because you didn't read it when you pushed the button or you didn't even know what it meant and it was there staring at you in plain sight. Method one, enter the stream key and the URL in a link that's sent to your cell phone or computer and so you're doing basically a, a two-party authentication, a two-factor authentication, because Yolo Live will send an email to something of your devices that the account is logged in with that will allow you to set up the stream key and then it will populate here, or you can manually fill it in if you already know that stuff and you have it memorized. I don't have it memorized. I doubt you do. It's almost impossible that you would. So we're gonna say, send the link. Now, once I tap send the link, the bottom says the link has been sent and I just go back. Nothing happens here because we're waiting for a link. Where did the link go? Well, the link went to my computer. I'm gonna come over here and pull it up. And as you can see, I'm pulling this up right now. I don't really want you to see this completely, so I'll make it big so we can see here, and then I'll delete some stuff later. But this is the link I then need to click on that link on Yolo Live and it brings me up to this page. This is all happening in a web page, right? So it's going to ask me for a couple of things. What's, this, what's the stream name? What do I wanna call it? So I'm gonna call this stream something. I'm gonna call this stream SM uh, RTM PS test. <laughs> I wasn't typing. Uh, there we go, stream test. Okay, now I've got that typed in. You name your stream whatever you want. I don't care, it doesn't matter. What type? Remember we saw the SRT or the HLS? You could choose that. 
don't worry about that right now. Just click RTMP. Okay, now it says server URL. Oh my God, do you know where that is? No, you don't, which is why I'm here to help you. You have to go log into your YouTube account, right? Uh, and then once you get to your YouTube account, oh man, I got to back out of all of this. And then you say, how do I get to my dashboard? What is my dashboard? Well, once you're in your YouTube account, you come over here to, we're not going to our YouTube studio. We're going to create. And then it says go live. At this point in time, it will pull up our streaming panel. This is our live panel. And it's going to give us all the information that we need right here. Get you a little bit extra so you can see some. Right. It'll give us everything that you need right here. And mine's going to ask for monetization settings. And I don't monetize my live streams usually. This is the important information that we've got to copy and paste from different places right here. The first thing is going to be the stream URL. We see that one written out. We see two, a backup server URL and a regular URL. And then we see a stream key. YouTube automatically blurs this out for you. Now, I know I'm using YouTube as the example, but this is the same process you would go through for Facebook or anything else. You would just log into your account manager, your live uh, dashboard, and then get your stream URL and your stream key. At this point in time, I'm simply going to copy and go back to that page. From here, I'm at my server URL, right-click, paste. Bingo. Now I'm going to come back over here, copy. And this time, I'm copying the password right? And I come back over here, stream key, right click, paste. Don't look at that. I've blurred it out because I don't want you to see it, right? And then you click send. When you're done, that's it. Yolo box is going to say successful. Now, once it says successful, we're going to be able to come back over here on Yolo box. Get this larger for you. Well, I don't want to get it that big, I guess. We're going to come back over here. We're on Yolo box. And at this point in time, we can see we've got a stream that's going to be available to us. We just need to refresh this. And how do we do it? Come out to one side, go down to the other. Now, look what it popped up with. Turn that one off. It popped up with the RTMPS test stream or stream test. Now, when we click that, we can go live. Now, the important thing to remember with that is that it's going to go live with whatever settings that you set over here. So this is a public stream key and we created a public stream. So if you wanted to stream with a private key, right? Like you would normally do, like if you were to go to YouTube and link it a multiple account and you could like in this case, come over here, turn that off. I could choose public or private. You don't get that option here because that option is part of the one-click streaming. This one, we're creating a unique stream key for this particular stream. You might ask the question, can you use these over and over? Yes, you can. Uh, when you end them, you can uh, come back to them just like you see my live wedding stream is there again. And when I stream a wedding live, it's already got everything set up. So I just log in, click the button on there, and I go live. All right, we have done quite a bit of talking about how to make these things happen. Two things you should have learned. Number one, most important, research. Know your gear. Stop asking the crazy questions that you could find out on your own, and it definitely stop acting like you're owed something because you don't know what you're doing. It's time to get good, guys, especially if you're doing this for pay. And number two, if you follow these directions, no matter what platform or content delivery network you're using, you're going to be able to go live with Yolo Box. Okay, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching and catch you all on the flip side. Bye for now.